Hey everybody, my name is Nick Justrician. I teach virtual production at Drexel University, and I had a question in class about how to turn effects on and off in Sequencer. So this is uh, visual effects like Niagara effects, and so I'm just going to demonstrate that with the uh, realistic starter VFX pack for Niagara. So I did uh, acquire that from the uh, marketplace, just searched uh, starter VFX, and there's a few different effects here. Uh, this is the pack I'm using, Niagara VFX pack. There is a realistic starter pack that is free. Although these are cascade effects, not Niagara effects. These are kind of a, a legacy effect system. Um, I'll show this one as well, just so that uh, you can see how it works there. Uh, it's just barely, barely different at all. Um, so let's get to work with the uh, Niagara effects. So I'm here in the virtual studio uh, set and uh, we'll go to the uh, Niagara effects and fire. Niagara and fire. There we are. And I'll just put a, uh, let's see, a small fire. Here we are, small fire. We'll just set that right there in the middle of our set. And okay, we've got a fire in the set. So now we want to turn this on and off. So I'll go back up to my content level and create a level sequence in order to control this. So I'll go to the clapboard here and add a level sequence. We'll call this uh, fire starter and SEQ for sequence. And so now that I've created that, I got to be careful because the Firestarter sequence is selected by default. So I don't want that to be selected. I want to uh, select the fire itself. So let's make sure I uh, select my NS fire small. There we go. So this is the actual fire effect. And I'll add a track, actor to sequencer, NS fire small. From here, I'll add a track and I'm going to add a track that is for the Niagara component itself. And then to that track, I'm going to add a Niagara uh, FX system toggle track. And there we go. This is the track that allow us to control whether this fire is on or off. So here at the beginning of the shot, I'd like it to be off. So I'll deactivate it and set a key and that should turn the fire off. I'll just play forward a little bit and right here, uh, frame 44, 45, there we go. I will uh, activate our fire and there's a key there as I have auto key on and we'll just let that fire burn for a little bit and then we'll go ahead and deactivate it. And so now in between the activate and deactivate, the fire should be burning and we just need to make sure uh, Unreal picks that up. So I'm just like stepping one frame. It doesn't always pick up the, uh, the effects changes when you're dragging through. And uh, between the deactivate and the activate, we should have no fire. And also after the deactivate, we should have no fire. And so we go to the beginning and hit play and we should see some fire. There we go. And we should turn off fire. So there you go. That's how you turn Niagara effects off and on. So that takes care of that. Now, if you want to see Cascade, I'll go ahead and do that. I'll just delete this track and I'll delete my Niagara fire. And this time we'll put in our Cascade fire. So particles and fire and fire small. I'll just put that right here. All right, so this should be a cascade effect and uh, it's going to be almost the same thing. So we'll just go back to that same sequence. We've got the fire selected, add a track, actor to sequencer, fire small. The only difference is we won't be adding a Niagara track. We'll just be going into the FX system toggle track immediately. So that's created. We'll deactivate and set a key and that should turn off our fire. We'll play a little bit and we'll activate and we'll play there and then we will deactivate so same idea let me just make sure at the beginning here that i have a deactivate in place looks like i set my first deactivate at the uh, end of the clip so that should be it now the only thing i've noticed is with cascade effects is that they don't always respond in real time when i'm playing an editor so if i hit play um this fire oh, in this case it came on and it went out so that worked uh, there's been a couple times when i've been running through this little practice and the fire didn't turn on um it's working now so there you go that's how you do it uh, if you see it not necessarily work uh, you can always just advance a frame or two and uh, and then it should respond so hope that helps until next time have fun